But of course, uh, much of uh, contemporary education and many of the other philosophies of education do build into themselves exactly such resistance. And one of the standard resistances is that, well, you know, behaviorism really sounds so dictatorial. It sounds so controlling. It sounds so so authoritarian, and particularly in the in the American context, it sounds so uh, un-American. Right? We're we're uh, we're about freedom. We're about the inner dignity of all human beings, and so uh, education that builds itself as authoritarian and controlling certainly goes against the grain here. Uh, I've got a quotation here from uh, from B.F. Skinner from his book Beyond Freedom and Dignity, where, as the title suggests, we need to get beyond these prejudices about freedom and about dignity here. Quote, defenders of freedom and dignity want to escape from the charge that they are controlling people, uh, unquote. And to the extent that we think that it's a bad thing to be controlling people, that that's a charge, then that sets us up for a resistance to try to soften the message. But from the behaviorist perspective, to the extent that we soften the message, that we're just setting ourselves up for soft education, that is to say, ineffective education. But the point the behaviorists uh, will insist upon here, falling out of their view of human nature, is students are controlled. Students are going to be conditioned by their environment. That's the nature of a human being. We are tabula rasa. We are plastic. We are born into an environment. And depending on what the prevailing uh, environmental stimuli are, what the strongest uh, uh, conditioners we are exposed to, those are the things that are going to dictate the kinds of behaviors that are reinforced and so dictate what kinds of human agents we are going to turn out to be. So students are going to be conditioned. And so as educators, uh, the choice we either have is we are going to take charge of the conditioning or we're just going to leave it to random and haphazard conditioning, whatever conditioning the students are exposed to outside of school or whatever uh, uh, uncontrolled conditions they're exposed to inside of school. But those latter choices are simply to abdicate our responsibility as educators. Students are going to be conditioned. Our professional job is to control the conditioning, uh, control the stimuli so as to achieve the, the uh, desired results.